Have you ever been told that you're not good enough, not smart enough, untalented, unsuited, not creative enough for something? Literally the whole trajectory of your life depends on how you position yourself to these kinds of judgments. In this video, I will explain why and I'll share stories of 15 successful people that were once told that they're untalented for the very thing that they're super successful in now. Stay tuned, this is super inspiring. Hey everyone, welcome to Becoming an Expert at Self-Leadership. I'm Micah and I love to see people thrive. And one thing that holds many of us back is having been told at some point that we're untalented or unsuited for whatever it is that we wanted to go for. These assessments are often based on one-time snapshots of our abilities at any given moment, tests, feedbacks, of one-time assessments. And taking those conclusions and projecting them onto the rest of our life. Thinking that the ability we had at that moment determines the rest of our life in regard to that ability, that's just a huge mistake. It's based on the assumption that people won't, can't, or, and don't change. And it's, it's really a big mistake to think like that. The psychology professor Carol Dweck has shown in her decades of research that what really is important for success is to believe that change is possible and then to be willing to invest the effort that is necessary. She calls this attitude the growth mindset. Believing that we're not finished products, we are works in progress and that we can change at any moment if we are ready to and if we're ready to invest the effort necessary for that. And often we underestimate our potential, our potential to grow, change and get better. And this comes from what she calls the fixed mindset, which is the belief that we're pretty much born the way we will always be. We don't really have much room for change and growth and effort isn't really that decisive in bringing our life to a certain point. If you want to go deeper into those two mindsets, check out the video I have about that on this channel. Here's the truth. You cannot predict someone's ability in a certain area for the rest of their life by measuring their ability in that area once, even if you're an expert. I'm not saying that anyone can become or do anything. That's not the point. The point is that we can't know for certain how far someone will take their ability if they keep trying, if they keep training, if they invest the effort, if they practice and don't let go. And that is something that we tend to forget. And it's really important for you to remain aware of that and to not let these kind of judgments that you've been given in your past determine who you will be in the future. To not let them define you, to take them as what they are, one-time snapshots of your ability at that given moment and then to see if you want to pursue that and what it would take for you to improve in a way that makes a difference. One of the easiest and most inspiring ways to remain aware of that and to strengthen your growth mindset is to reflect on stories of successful people who at one point were told by experts that they're not going anywhere and that they're untalented, but then they turned out to be great successes in their areas. And for the rest of this video, I will be sharing these kinds of stories. So buckle up, this is going to be inspiring. Let's start with one of the most successful authors of our time, who is the first author to become a billionaire through writing, J.K. Rowling. 
her first Harry Potter manuscript was rejected by 12 publishing houses. And she kept submitting it. She kept at it and believed in herself and the book. And we all know the rest of the story. Harrison Ford was told by studio executives that he wouldn't go far in the movie business, but he didn't share their estimation, which was born of a fixed mindset, and he kept at it. And nine years later, he had his breakthrough role. And did you know that Jim Carrey was booed off the stage after his first performance? Oprah was fired from her first TV job as a co-news anchor and told that she's unfit for TV by the producer. Later, she commented, there's no such thing as failure. Failure is just life trying to move you into another direction. Walt Disney was told that he had no imagination or good ideas by an editor at a newspaper that he got fired from. Katy Perry's first record only sold 200 copies and it was then dropped by the label. The second label she turned to also dropped her after some time and she became successful only with the third label nine years after she had started pursuing music full time. And now she is a household name and one of the most successful singers in the music industry. Albert Einstein didn't start talking until the age of four and reading until he was seven. His parents and teachers labeled him as mentally slow. He got really bad grades as a student, barely graduated college, and when his father died, his father thought of him as a failure. And later he went on to receive a Nobel Prize for his works in physics. Steve King's first book was rejected 30 times by publishers and he just threw it out into the trash and his wife took it out again and encouraged him to keep submitting. And now he has hundreds of successful books out there. Let's talk about Elvis Presley. Did you know that his first two demo tapes weren't picked up? Then he auditioned to sing in a quartet and they told him they didn't want to work with him because he couldn't sing. And then he was fired after one of his first gigs and told that he didn't have any future in music. Michael Jordan was removed from his high school basketball team and is now celebrated as the most successful basketball player ever. Steven Spielberg was rejected three times from the same film school that he applied to due to poor grades. Ben Hogan, a successful golf player, was described as uncoordinated and ungraceful as a child. The Beatles were told that they would never succeed by a talent scout in the music industry and that the times for guitar groups were over. Winston Churchill failed sixth grade in school. He failed several exams in college and lost five elections. And he became famous for saying, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. Success consists of going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. Thomas Edison was told by his teachers that he was too stupid to learn anything, and he was fired from his first two jobs for being too unproductive. Obviously, he was really productive throughout his life, securing over 1,000 patents for his inventions. What can we learn from all of this? What counts is not being estimated as talented or untalented at one point in your life. If you want to be successful, what really counts is to see failure and critical feedback as an opportunity to learn and to be willing to invest the effort that it takes to change. It takes not underestimating yourself and to be aware that most of us do that and to not let anyone tell you you're not good enough, also not your own mind. And if you want to strengthen your growth mindset, I suggest that you take a look at the growth mindset affirmations on this channel to have a daily reminder of that. Thanks for watching. I hope you find these stories as inspiring as I do. Subscribe if you don't want to miss anything and support the channel with a like. Till next time, take care and remember, don't let one-time snapshots of your ability define you for the rest of your life.